everybody, Rog here. Welcome back to my channel. Well, today I'm going to be cooking this guy here. He's fresh from my garden. I've grown a couple of these this year. They're not very big, but they sure are very tasty. And today I'm going to be cooking a pumpkin pie. Now, before you all say, oh no, not another pumpkin pie. Everybody's cooking pumpkin pies. This one's going to be a dairy-free pumpkin pie because there are a lot of people out there that have a dairy allergy. They can't drink milk, they can't eat anything with butter and stuff like that, anything with dairy. So this is for them. And there's also a link to a dairy-free pastry case up in the top right-hand corner. So we make a start by peeling the pumpkin, de-seeding it and cutting it into little chunks. So here we have our pumpkin all ready. And these are our ingredients. Now we're going to boil the pumpkin for 15 minutes or 20 minutes until it's really soft and tender. Then strain it off in a colander like this and just leave it to dry. Then we can crack our eggs into a bowl. Then we can whisk up the eggs, get them all mixed together nicely. Now for me the best way to puree this pumpkin is to pop it in this little blender that I've got here. It does a perfect job but if you haven't got one you'll have to just try and push it through a sieve. Now into a bowl we go with 175 millilitres of coconut milk, then we can add our egg mixture and our spices, pop them in, in they go. So now it's time to add the sugar. I've got 140 grams here. So make sure this is all well mixed in then we can add our melted dairy-free spread. And our pumpkin puree, which doesn't really want to come out of this bowl. So we'll have to scrape it out. Now it's time to give it one last mix. Make sure it's really creamy and delicious. Now after transferring this mixture to a pouring jug, we pour it in, into the pastry case. Cover it all over, don't miss any, don't leave any little gaps. There we go. Now it's off to the oven. About 30 minutes, gas mark 4, but keep an eye on it because you don't want the crust to burn around the edges. So after the time's up, we open the oven door and this is what we've got. Surprise, surprise, it's a very delicious pumpkin pie. Now doesn't that look great? And served up with a little bit of cinnamon and icing sugar sprinkled over the top and accompanied by some dairy free cream substitute. So it's time for our taste test. Yep, that sure is a great pie. I love it. You can taste the pumpkin and the pastry is delicious. It's really crumbly. And don't forget, this is all dairy free. So if you've got an allergy for dairy, you, you know, you're fine with this. Um, even if you haven't got an allergy, you'd enjoy it anyway. Thanks so much for watching this latest video of mine. Hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see any future videos or any of my other videos of course and a like if possible and don't forget to share it that'd be great thank you very much see you next time bye for now